Yo, what is up you beautiful bastards? It's Philip Marigue here and let's be real, we've all been there, curled up in the fetal position, questioning the meaning of life, the universe and everything. But seriously, have you ever stopped to think about the wild journey that brought you into existence? You were once just a single cell, smaller than a grain of sand. The journey from zygote to embryo is nothing short of a miracle and today I'll reveal the shocking secrets that most people have never heard before. Alright, picture this, a single sperm out of millions finally reaches the egg. Boom! It's like the Big Bang on a microscopic level. In that instant, a zygote is born. And trust me, this ain't no ordinary cell. We're talking the moment your unique genetic code, half from your mom, half from your dad, combine to create you. And get this, within just 30 minutes, this tiny zygote is already springing to life, activating thousands of genes. We're talking about the blueprint for an entire human being. Your hair color, your height, maybe even your love for pineapple on pizza, all encoded in this microscopic masterpiece. Ai guy. So, we've got our zygote, this little champion cell, and it's not wasting any time. We're talking less than 24 hours after conception, this little guy is already dividing and I'm not talking about your average cell division. This is like a cellular rave, with the zygote splitting into two, then four, then eight cells, doubling every 12 hours. It's like a microscopic game of tag, where everyone's it and everyone's winning. Now, this cluster of cells, it's got a fancy name, a morula. But here's the kicker. While all this dividing is going down, this little cluster of cells is on the move. It's like a tiny, determined traveler on a mission, journeying through the fallopian tube, heading towards its final destination, the uterus. Alright, fast forward to day 5 and things are about to get even more wild. Our little Morula, that cluster of cells, decides it's time for a major makeover. The cells in the Morula start reorganizing like they're forming a tiny society and they transform into something called a blastocyst. Now this blastocyst, it's not just a clump of cells anymore, it's got layers, people. It's like it went from a studio apartment to a penthouse suite. Some of these cells, they're the chosen ones, the ones that will eventually become the fetus, the baby, you. They need a support system and that's where the other cells come in. Chapter 4 Implantation The Great Escape Alright, so we've got our blastocyst, this little ball of potential, just vibing in the uterus. But here's the catch, it can't just chill there forever. It needs to find a place to call home, a cozy spot to burrow in and grow. We're talking about implantation, the most crucial and dangerous phase of this whole journey. Imagine this, the blastocyst, this tiny sphere of cells, has to somehow attach itself to the lining of the uterus, kinda like a spaceship docking at a space station except a million times more complicated. And to make matters even more stressful, the mother's immune system is on high alert. To survive, it releases special chemicals, like secret agents on a mission to disarm the enemy. These chemicals suppress the mother's immune system, convincing her body to accept the embryo as a friend, not a foe. Chapter 5 The First Heartbeat 
a symphony of life. All right, we are now entering week three and get ready for this. Things are about to get truly magical. Our little embryo, this tiny cluster of cells, is about to hit a major milestone. It's time for the grand debut of the heartbeat. That's right, you heard me correctly. By week three, the embryo's heart, this tiny bundle of specialized cells, starts to beat on its own. No conductor, no external instructions, just pure instinctual rhythm. And while the heart is busy finding its beat, the nervous system is also hard at work, developing at an astonishing rate. And by week four, we start to see the first signs of limbs, tiny buds that will eventually become arms and legs. Chapter 6 Mind-blowing facts before the first month ends. Okay, let's take a moment to appreciate just how insane this all is. We are talking about a little over four weeks since conception and this embryo, this tiny speck of life, has already gone through more transformations than a Hollywood celebrity on a red carpet. And here's the kicker, it's only the size of a rice grain. That's right, a single grain of rice, yet it already has a beating heart, a developing brain sending out signals, and even the beginnings of a face. Outro, the miracle continues. From a single cell to a fully beating heart in just a few weeks, it's absolutely mind-blowing. The journey from zygote to embryo is more complex than we ever imagined. And the craziest part is, this is just the beginning. There's so much more to come in the following months. If this amazed you, imagine what happens in the next few months. Want to know more? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more mind-blowing facts.